Okay, uh, just uh, it's glad, great to be back home and uh, having the opportunity to play a game here at home again. Seems like it's been forever since we've been here, but uh, you know, I say all the time, and I mentioned to our team on on Monday night last night that uh, you know preparation is so important for every game you play. And if you look around the country at some of the things you know you, it happened this past weekend, uh, you know Iowa State with a third string quarterback that hadn't practiced and all spring goes and beats a thirty point favorite Oklahoma. So at the end of the day. It's all about preparation and uh, showing up ready to play for every game you play. If you do that, you have a chance. If you don't, you have no chance. So our guys need to understand that. And uh, you know, we're getting ready, of course, to play an old Dominion team that won 10 games a year ago. They got a lot of players back, so they got good players. And and they think they lead. I know they lead the league in, in quarterback sacks, and that uh, and may lead the country. They've got like 19 or something crazy like that. So got some athletic guys on front defensively, and they got a lot of players back on offense. That entire offensive line. It's just about back intact, so uh, it'll be a challenge for us, and our guys have to have a great week of practice to get ready for them. Uh, our captains, um, Malik Gant, the guy that's playing really well on defense, will be our defensive captain, a young sophomore that's playing well for us. Uh, Ryan B is a special team captain. He blocked that, uh, that field goal. He blocked the field goal. Also played really well on the punt team for us as a shield. And uh, Tyree Brady will be the de- uh, offensive captain. Had a great game as a wideout. So. Got a lot of work to do this week, and uh, I'm excited. Number one's homecoming is going to be tremendous weather. Uh, our fans have been tremendous on the road, and uh, I look forward to seeing them all here on Saturday. Okay. If you're looking at the tape, you get 400 total yards and really kind of dominated that game. Mm-hmm. Does it make you feel a little bit better, even though you only scored 14 points? Did you, you move the ball at will? Yeah, I think the important thing is you try to go out there and be the best team you can possibly be. And, uh, you know, there's no doubt that, you know, I felt like we moved. You know, I didn't feel like I had, you know, I walked out of there and not, didn't feel like we had 400 total yards, total, you know, to be honest with you. But we just didn't finish them. You know, just got to finish some things. Got to finish some drives. And, you know, and, uh, and you know, we scored one. I think we scored, we were only in the score zone really twice, but we scored the one time there. And we're leading the conference in, in, in score zone, red zone offense. But we just got to do a better job of finishing drives. Thought we moved the ball at times. Had a couple penalties there that it had the one turnover we got to eliminate. But, uh, you know, we just got to continue to take what the defense gives us. I think we're playing tremendous defense. And, uh, you know, anytime you get in a situation where you're playing the kind of defense that we're playing, just take care of the football. You know, when you get in the red zone, score zone, score points, I think you'll like the results. And that's what we got to continue to work to do. Their defense, what, what is it that they're doing that makes them able to get to the quarterback with such ease this year? Well, they, got, they got really good players. I mean, and I'm not, I'm not, it's not coach speak up here. If you turn the film on and watch him, uh, I think he's number seven. Is a, he's, I think these guys all played against us a year ago. I think they're getting a couple other guys back for our game. Uh, the two DNs are supposedly back, and and uh, Lowry supposedly, I guess, practicing this week. So I'm sure we'll get their best shot with those other players coming back. But they're just very athletic. You know, they can they can they uh, do a tremendous job of uh, technique wise as far as rushing the passer goes. And uh, like I said, they've had a lot of success. You know, getting the quarterback, and they played some. You know, they played Virginia Tech, they played North Carolina. You know, they played some good teams. Yeah, I mean, it will. I'm, you know, I'm proud of the way those guys have played. You know, Tariq Adams play, has played extremely well for a young freshman. You know, you watch him; and he's really come a long ways. And of course, Millette, and uh, you know, and then of course uh, Almer. And you know, I, I I talk about those three freshmen. I fail to mention the job that Levi Brown's doing at center. You know, with those young kids, there's a reason those young kids are playing well. And Levi is an all-conference player, I think, in there at center for us. And of course, Dowry and Devers have some experience in there. They're helping those young guys along too, so that helps. But those young, those three young guys continue to get better. And get we got Addison. will be back out there today, which will help. How much does it help? Uh, Malek can go left guard, right guard, and he can sort of spell. You can sort of. You know, do some different combinations up front and get some different strength looks. Well, that's a guy. You know, he was also played some tackle for us too. He, he played, uh, matter of fact, all day last Thursday. He played right tackle, so he can play center, he can play guard, he can play tackle. It gives you a lot of flexibility in there with him because he's long, he's athletic, but uh, he's kind of a swing guy. But there's no doubt, it gives you some flexibility and uh, that, that helps. The mental side of the game and his his demeanor sort of remind you of Jasper's in a way. He's about two inches taller than Jasper's, but uh, <laughs> yeah, he's he's he's, some, he's and he's a lot. Don't tell Jasper. He's a lot better athlete than Jasper's, but uh, don't tell Jasper's on the sidelines. I'd say, I'd say the same thing in front of him here, but uh, he's got a long ways to go. To you know, Jasper's was just such a tremendous leader, such a tremendous player, just a tough guy that will go down as one of the best 
uh, centers to ever play here. You know, I think he still has a record for what the most number of snaps an offensive lineman's ever taken here or something. So to put him in the Jaspers category as a freshman, I'm not sure we're quite ready to do that yet, but he's got the potential to do that. Yeah, it's always great to see those guys come back. And I saw, I looked over there, was Tamar Slay was on the, one of the basketball guys were on the sideline there. It's just great to see those guys. And, uh, you know, they, those guys follow us wherever we go. And it's, it's great to have those guys around. The league has started, it's kind of crazy how important is it to hold certain at home, obviously. Yeah. I think it's, it's, I mentioned, I've always said, uh, Keith, anytime you're in the, in the league play, every game's a championship game. And, you know, you look around, I don't think there's, uh, you know, there's not, just about every team in our league has a loss. I don't think F I know uh, UTSA got beat by Southern Miss the other day, and and I think FAU may not have a loss in the league. I don't think, but uh, I think everybody else has a loss in this league. So it's just so critical that every game you play, like I say, you got to treat it like a championship game and go find a way to win it because that's that's it's, you know it's kind of when it all shakes out, uh, you know you got to find a way to win those conference games to get where you want to go. Lowry's trying to come back, but their their number two guy rushed for 200 plus. I mean, is there a difference in those two athleticism, style wise, what have you? You know, the guy, the guy just he had over 200 yards against FAU. You know, Cox, I think it is, and he just uh, physical. He's extremely physical. I think what what it does it gives you two tremendous backs. You know that you got to face. And they got some other players too. They're excellent players, but you know, Lowry's a guy that's played a long time, and uh, he's a really good football player. So. I'm sure he'll try to get back against us. You get some 500 yards last week on the ground. Uh, you all got your run game going. Is it kind of like the perfect time that everything's coming? Well, I think and you, if you listen to Bobby and uh, what he had to say, they missed a lot of tackles they, and that, that type of thing. But I'm sure they'll get that corrected this week and come in here against us and, and be ready to go. But uh, you know, FI, FAU did a nice job running the ball, which they've done against a lot of people this year. You ever had a team miss 39 in a game? No. No. I don't think. We'll get that fixed, I figure. Oh, Bobby, Bobby's an excellent coach. I mean, I'm sure they'll go to work this week and, and get it fixed. That's what, the, that's what, he, that's what he'll do. Well, he did, you know, he just, uh, he's just a good player. Again, our, our guys have tremendous respect for him as a player. He came in at 32 production points in his first first time out, which is a lot of production points. and. Uh, He's, uh, he just gives us another dimension that, uh, you know, not only can he play linebacker, but you can bring him off the edge in some passing situations. He's a good pass rusher, and uh, he brings a lot of things to the table that we can do with him. Especially against the run. His, his mobility and, and size combination, how much better does that make your all's run defense going into a game like ODU where you know they're bringing it? Yeah, well, that, you know, ODU, ODU's quarterback is extremely athletic, just like the kid we played uh, – you know, we, we were the one thing we went into that Charlotte game. We felt like we had to stop. We couldn't let the quarterback beat us with his feet. He had four yards rushing against the Saturday. So, and Juwan had something. You know, Juwan was able to run him down. You know, Juwan's 250 pounds, but our linebackers could run, and he was able to run him down on the perimeter, which was critical. And that'll be critical this week too with this guy because at times Virginia Tech couldn't tackle him. I mean, he's a young player that it's very athletic that, that can run very similar to what we faced uh, last week at Charlotte. So. You know, anytime you can get athletic guys in there that can run, and not only Juwan, but you know Frankie and all those guys have the ability to run at linebacker, which is important. He's coming off a, a four-pick performance against FAU, and now he's got to go on the road, coming into your old home place. How important is it to sort of set that tone early with the with the defense and get after? Him? Well, I mean, he's, he's a young player; it's going to be an excellent player. And you go, and I've always said, uh, you know, when you play in a freshman quarterback, you're, you're going to go through some growing pains. But uh, he's got the ability to beat you, you know, like I said, with his feet and also with his arm. And, and uh, I'm sure Bobby will do a great job of coaching him up this week, you know, down there, and he'll come play really well against us. So we just got to, you know, we got to make sure that we take care of us and, and, uh, and try to, you know, put him in a situation where we get a little pressure on him. But uh, I'm sure he probably won't do that against us. What gave you the ability to really shuffle linebackers, I noticed? A little, little more than you had before he came on board. Well, it gives you one more body that you got to get in there and get in play. And you know, but all those guys, Chase Hancock's playing like an all-conference player. You know, I think he was leading the conference last week in tackles, and he's playing really well. Artis, you know, uh, Johnson, the guys uh, is playing well. Armari Cobb, Frankie, 
So it gives you a lot of guys in there that are playing well, but it also gives you the ability with having a little bit more depth there to play that maybe add, like we added uh, Amari Cobb to another special team or two. You know, instead of being on just two of them because he's playing a lot of linebacker, now we can add him on to one more because we have a bit more depth at linebackers. So it gives us a little bit more flexibility in our special teams to get some really good players there too. So that helps in, uh, in a lot of areas. I like 2.30, get up and go. But uh, we've been playing at night so long, I, you know, it'll be a little different for us. But uh, I, I'd rather, I like, to, I, I like to play them all at noon if it was up to me. Get up at noon and go play and watch everybody else play after that. But uh, we get a lot of television controls that, whatever it is, it is. You know, we'll be ready to go. Hey, how many noon games did you coach in Morgan Sales? I don't know. We had, we, we had a string here about four years ago here that we had just about all noon games. It was, I can't remember. But uh, we had we had that here not recently, but I know we've had that here. How does that change the course of the day on that? No, it doesn't change. I mean, you 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 know, we just uh, we adapt our schedule and our meeting times and all that based on what time we play. And uh, but it doesn't change our Friday nights. It doesn't change our Friday during the day. It just change our schedule. It changes our pregame. You know, on Saturday, we always have, we always eat pregame four hours prior to the game. So if you play at noon, you got to get up early to go eat. But uh, other than that, it doesn't change anything. How close is Chase Witten to uh, getting all those throws on target and having a really big game? No, he's close. He was close Saturday. I mean, NC State game, he made all those throws, you know, and he'll make them all again. You know, he, uh, you know, like I say, he was really close uh, a couple of times to, to Brady and, of course, to your check on a couple of them. So he'll, he'll make those throws. He makes them every day in practice, and, and he'll make them today in practice and tomorrow in practice, and he'll come out Saturday and make them. So. But he's but he's uh, he's done a nice job throwing a deep ball. Missed a couple Saturday, but there's not a quarterback in the country so I'm not gonna miss one every now and then. Made that that one deep throw to Brady on the corner route was about as nice a throw as I've I've seen. I mean, he, what a great and had had somebody right in his face that got hit as soon as he as soon as he threw it. So he just did a tremendous job on that throw. The rushing offense being able to find a little more consistency. It's not one, two, and then 10 or 11. It was more four, four, five, six. Against a team like ODU, how important is that to, to be able to do that first and second down and eliminate third and long for the rush? Well, there's no, that's no question that's important. And, no, and eliminate negative plays. You know, we ran the ball pretty well, but we ended up having a couple negative plays there. But anytime, you know, the one thing you go back and look at our stats. I mean, we've done. We are. are we for you know, maybe the first time in a long time we're winning the time of possession now. I mean, we're, we're up there in the top what, three or four in our conference in time of possession. And if you look at the time of possession in the last two games, uh, we've we've dominated that part of it. Which, if you can do that, our defense played 52 plays. You know, they played I think 52, 53 plays last Saturday is all they played. And uh, if you can keep that defense off the field and they get themselves off the field and, to, and dominate the time of possession, then you got to. You got an excellent chance of winning that football game. I think the last, you know, the last three games we played in the fourth quarter. If you look at time of possession, when we had to run the football, we were able to do that and uh, do it effectively and do it well and put the game away. And uh, we've done that for three straight weeks, and that, that needs to happen again.